Hey, it's Kenny. Today I am heading out to work on finding more of the 20 geocaches in the Cache the Coast Central Coast Geo Tour. I am camping at Beverly Beach State Campground north of Newport, Oregon. Yesterday I was able to find four of the 20 geocaches and today I hope to find many more. Come along with me on part two of Geo Tour and Camping. Wow. This is the uh, first geocache on the geo tour that I'm looking for. Um, on my second day of this hunt, I'm in uh, Pacific Beach, and I had a hell of a time finding a way into this place. Uh, they, there's a, the normal trailhead and a parking lot, which is gated and locked right now. <laughs> so I had to go through a housing development to get here. So I'm at 350 feet should be over here somewhere. We're looking. Up the hill. It's a walk through the woods and it's a bit nippy out this morning. Um, I'm also camping for a couple days. So I'm close to the area up here. It was 34 this morning. Nippy. It's like we're following a deer trail. I actually saw some deer on the road driving in here. I had to stop 80 feet. This is the fifth geocache I've looked for. None of them have had a clue. Huh? 40 feet. Well, the GPS is jumping all over the place. 30, 20. 50. I walked 50 feet and it doesn't change much. Oh my god, this is going to be hard. <sighs> this is crazy. Oh, there's a fallen log over here. I should have looked around that. 50. I see it. Oh yeah. Whew, thank you, thank you. All right, there's a code word. I need to get off the back side of the lid and sign my name on the log sheet. And then we'll go back to the Jeep and head on up the road to the next one. Well, there was a travel bug in uh, that cache, so I picked that one up and taken it with me. Seemed like a good idea. put it. I don't always like looking around in big old rocks and I, I'm, you know, don't want to trip and fall and smash my face. <laughs> but it only took a couple minutes to find it and there was a couple of ladies walking their dog as they just came off the beach. It's such a gorgeous day. Wow. The view is awesome here. Well, let's get the code off the lid and get my name on this log sheet. Oh, there's another trouble bug in this one. So I will move this one along. This is the second one I've picked up today. <laughs> cool. I am only on the second geocache of the day. Period, lots of driving. And the first one took a long time to figure out how to get to the location. Period. Currently I am in knee tarts looking at the bay. We are at the Cape Mears Lighthouse State Park. And uh, it says the cache is 200 feet to the north, which would 
be this direction. So let's go see if we can find this thing. It says the size is another. Other could be anything. It says I meant nine feet. So could be magnetic. Could be underneath the sign. Could be under the bed. I guess we'll spend some time looking around. <laughs> I found the cache, but I got to show you this view. This is magnificent. Isn't this cool? It's amazing. Well, it was magnetic. <laughs> and so uh, I'll retrieve it, sign the log sheet, get that code word. Then I think I'm going to have some lunch. <laughs> Well, we are at the next cache location. It looks like we have a half mile walk. If the trail is like this the whole way, it's gonna be really easy. Boy, this is really nice. You can pause and read that if you like. Pretty in here. There's a bunch of signs along this trail. I am impressed by the amount of work they put into this. We have run out of cobblestones. <laughs> it's just a regular trail now, but it's still extremely nice. I'm giving you plenty of reading material. <laughs> well, we have uh, three tenths of a mile to go, and there is a junction back there. And one to the right, I went in a circle, but it was shorter than three tenths. And so, looking at the map, I think this is the way I need to go. This is definitely a big creek. Wow. Onward. This is such a gorgeous trail. Boy, they think of everything out here. They got a restroom for you, even. <laughs> We're at a quarter mile. We have the black line is where I've walked. <laughs> so it does wind around a bit. I think actually what we're walking on now is a uh, abandoned railroad roadbed is part of the uh, sawmill industry thing going on here. All right, we're down to 450 feet. All right, there's a big gazebo here, 80 feet. I think we're going to get to see Tillamook Bay. It could be at the gazebo. It's at 50 feet. It's at the gazebo. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to see if I can find this and then we'll walk out and look look at the bay. Well, that took a while. But I found it. All right. Tillamook Bay. Well, it's getting late in the day. I got a lot more caches to find. So I gotta head back and head towards Garibaldi. This one turned out to be a fairly easy find. It's not every day you see an airplane parked at a boat dock. We are at the Garibaldi Harbor. 
Well, the geocache is here somewhere. I think it may be under this bridge thing. The Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad is located in Garibaldi. Need a starfish? I lived in Tillamook for a year or so, a long time ago. I worked at a sawmill there. But here we are at the Tillamook Air Museum, which at one time was a blimp base for the U.S. Navy during World War II. Two blimp hangars used to be here. One burned down a number of years ago. Well, we drove 30 some miles back towards Lincoln City. So we got everything done up there by Tillamook. So I'm kind of walking into the sun here. I'm at a county park. There's a boat launch. It says the cache is 65 feet away. Seems like this is where it should be. It says I'm at 27 feet right here. Hmm. I guess I'll look at the clue if there is one and see what we can come up with. Well, I got lucky. I came up on the uh, road side of the trees here and I found it. All I gotta do is I get the uh, clue and sign the log sheet. This, this is on a back road and uh, it's actually been pretty busy. There's been about five cars go through here since I've been here. <laughs> you would think it wouldn't be that busy. Well, let's get back on the road. It is an interesting little pull-off that I didn't know was here off of Highway 101. Seems to be some kind of memorial. United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. Program on Man and the Biosphere. Hmm. My phone says 150 feet down this trail. Okie dokie. It's getting late in the day, but I think the I have the prize in sight, but I'm gonna have to finish it tomorrow morning, I think. I can't actually go in and try to get the geo coin that they're going to offer for finishing this and getting all the correct code words. They're not open till tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm not I'm leaving my campsite tomorrow afternoon, so it should be fine. There's a suspicious pile of moss. I think that might be it. <laughs> yep. That's the prize. Well, this is the last one for today. A guy was sitting in a motorhome fast asleep as I found the geocache in front of him. No stealth needed here. <laughs> Got back to the campsite just before dark. Time for some food and a beer or two and sit by the campfire. I will finish tomorrow. It's been a good day. Stay tuned for Cash the Coast Central Coast Geo Tour Part 3. 
Follow my adventures. Your comments are welcome. Subscribe and be sure to click on that bell to receive notifications of new videos. Share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.